jackpot. And I go, wow, and I get in the trash can and there's like tons of you know, half used books of these blank transfers. So I started punching my own transfers to ride the RTD bus system for free. My first social engineering, which I didn't even know what social engineering was, uh, was when I was 12 years old. I was riding in, the, in an RTD bus, which is Rapid Transit District bus in Los Angeles to school. And how the buses worked in those days is you'd pay a fare, I think it was 25 cents, and then you could buy what they call a transfer for an extra 10 cents. And it was a piece of paper that gave you the privilege just to show the bus driver on the next bus and you wouldn't have to pay a fare. So I remember as a kid, I'm sitting on the bus and I'm looking at this transfer. I go, that's interesting because I'm learning how the system is. They punch the date, month, day. They punch the direction you're going. They punch the bus line number that issued it. And it's not like a, uh, like a whole paper punch that you would buy at Staples. It's like different weird shape. And I, and I go, wow, if I can get that punch, and I can get those blank transfers, I could ride the bus system for free. Wouldn't that be cool? My first objective was trying to find out where you get the punch that these bus drivers use. So as I was getting off to go to school, mind you, I'm in elementary school. As I'm getting off the bus, I asked the uh, bus driver, I say, hey, listen, I'm working on this project in school. We take these cardboards and we make all these really cool shapes and I notice when you gave me that piece of paper, it had really cool shapes. Where do you guys buy those things? Maybe I can get my mom to buy me one so I can do the shapes on the cardboard. And the guy goes, oh, we buy it at the store. And he gave me the address, actually. So I take the bus to this store in downtown LA. I buy this punch for 15. The, the guy behind the counter goes, what are you gonna, what's that for? Because bus drivers buy these. I go, oh, no, it's for my dad. He works for the RTD. It's a Christmas present because it was around December. Time. So then I have this punch. So then I'm thinking as a kid, I can't buy blank transfers, but I was thinking these bus drivers must be lazy after a hard day of driving this bus. They probably don't even clean the bus. They probably drive this into the depot. Some guy sweeps it and throws everything into the trash and ends up in a dumpster. So I thought, what if I can go to the dumpster and find these? You know, is that possible? So I ride my bicycle over to the dumpster at a local RTD depot. You know, it's not on the inside where I have to trespass, it's on the outside where to come get the dumpster. I open it up and I hey, yo, look in there and it's jackpot. And I go, wow, and I get in the trash can and there's like tons of, you know, half used books of these blank transfers. So I started punching my own transfers to ride the RTD bus system for free. I didn't even know what I was doing was wrong, that it was fraud. And I'd be so open about it that I'd be at a bus stop with other people and I'd say, oh, you know, you don't have to pay. I can punch you a transfer. You know, you know, 12 years old, right? But I'd be punching people transfers in some cases. Most people didn't take it because they knew what I was doing was wrong. And it got to be where I wasn't even hiding it. And I made friends with a lot of the bus drivers and they would just give me the blank books of transfers, knowing what I was doing. And nobody ever told me it was wrong. So that's kind of my first hack.